If, since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. No, Mr. President-elect. Go, go ahead. President go ahead. Since you are attacking no, our news not you. Not you. Can you give us a chance? Your organization is terrible. You are attacking our news organization. Your organization is terrible. Let's to go. Ask a question, sir. Go ahead. Sir, quiet. Can you state, quiet. Mr. President-elect. Go ahead. Can she's you she's asking a question. Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. You, state, you, you are fake news. Sir. Assange, who has lived at Ecuador's London embassy since June of 2012 in fear of being extradited to the United States to face espionage and conspiracy charges arising from leaking thousands of secret diplomatic and military documents, claims that he has had evidence and documents given to him by a government worker that shows that the Apollo program really never set foot never on set the moon. Never, set never, 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 set never, 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 documents are said to have been handed to the WikiLeaks founder by a retired high-ranking official of NASA that has worked within the government for more than 45 years, according to Assange. Of the uh, north face of the Copernicus Crater, and this is the one that really set me off exploring the moon, because you can just look at this thing, and you can see vapor there spraying up. If you see vapor, it's got to have an atmosphere, because a vapor will not hold together in a vacuum. And there's a vapor, there's a vapor, uh, up here uh, is a building, you can see it, I mean it's obviously got uh, three or four stories, and uh, <clears throat> over here is a, um, <clears throat> I've got enlargements all this stuff, wheel excavator, and that dust that's coming out of the top. Here's another bucket wheel excavator. If you really uh, focus into that, you can look at that, and that's, that's a bucket wheel excavator, and it's working its way down that road there. Everything is based and measured on, and based on elevation above sea level. Yeah. And it's elevation at the sea level doesn't mean dick if you're <laughs> living on a ball. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, but it, does, but it does mean something if you're on a flat plane. It means everything. Yeah. And it is an absolute, it's a constant, and it's a, it's a benchmark that lasts forever. I assure you, 
that there is a reason for this. If the flat earth theory did not have any merit, it would not have lasted more than a month on the web. Okay, well, let's take the next listener phone call. Hello, this is Science Fantastic. You're on the air. Any comments or questions? Uh, my name is Neil Baker. I'm in Kennewick, Washington. I listen to KTCR. And uh, I'm one of those people, actually, I might be one of those kooks that doesn't think we went to the moon. Um, I don't think I'm a kook. I think I've got good reason to think we didn't go to the moon. And uh, they basically boil down to two reasons. One is that the spacesuits that the astronauts are in are impossible. And the cooling system is preposterous. The nickel porous plate ice sublimators that they allegedly use to cool themselves, uh, you can't find any information on them. We've been allegedly using them for 50 years. Uh, there's nothing in a textbook about them. There's uh, hardly anything on the Internet about them, and you've never seen a demonstration of one in operation, which could easily happen in a high vacuum chamber that NASA allegedly has. Um, the suits are impossible because those kinds of suits with the flexible membrane would be, op would be impossible to operate in a high vacuum. And that could be proven very easily on Earth also with the use of high vacuum chamber, uh, which still isn't used either. So I think the moon landings are fake. I think the Gemini spacewalks are fake. I think the International Space Station is fake. And I think the alleged spacewalks at the Hubble Space Telescope are fake. so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time